John and I have stayed in 28 Punta Cana resorts and we've ranked them in eight different categories, including value for money, which we consider the most important. In this video, we'll show you our top 10 Punta Cana hotel picks in the value for money category. All hotels on this list have a perfect score in the value bracket, but we've compared them further based on the price we paid per night and the worth we received in return. For each resort, we'll share how much we paid per night, the time of year we visited, and its overall score so you can better compare them. Number 10. Royalton Chic We stayed at the Royalton Chic in September 2022 and paid $114 per person per night in the cheapest room type. We stayed in the cheapest room at every hotel on this list, so the comparison is apples to apples. The property had storm-related damages caused by a hurricane that had affected Punta Cana just a few days before. Some areas, like the pool bar and the nightclub, were closed for reparations, so we considered that while evaluating this resort. The Royalton Chic has a good pool variety like this one, perfect for taking Instagram-worthy pictures. The bubbling whirlpools were also a great spot to hang out. The hotel is located in the Uvero Alto area, which is more secluded than most Punta Cana hotels. The beach is not as nice in this area, but we especially loved the party atmosphere and the chic room design. Overall, we scored the Royalton Chic 84 out of 110. Number 9. Margaritaville Island Reserve Cap Cana We stayed at the Margaritaville Cap Cana's Wave family-friendly site in March 2023 and paid $188 per person per night, which is at the lower end of its usual price range. The hotel is in the exclusive Cap Cana area, a luxury area near the Punta Cana airport. The beaches in Cap Cana are not as good as those in other areas like Bávaro or Arena Gorda. Still, Margaritaville is located on Juanillo Beach, easily one of the best beach stretches in Punta Cana. However, some people find the hotel's beach area too rocky. We loved how perfectly maintained everything was, as well as the Margaritaville branding and quality. We also loved the food, the pools, the outdoor hot tubs, and everything about our room. Night entertainment is light, which is the hotel's weakest point and what some guests complain about the most. Overall, we scored the Margaritaville 92 out of 110. Number 8. Bahia Principe Luxury Ambar We stayed at this resort in May 2023 and paid $128 per person per night. Bahia Principe Luxury Ambar is the high-end resort in the Bahia Principe complex, which also houses four other hotels. You can use the amenities and some of the restaurants in these four hotels when staying at the Luxury Ambar, which elevates the value you get for your money. It is located on Arena Gorda Beach, one of the best beaches in Punta Cana. However, the beach area of this hotel was not our favorite. The Bahia Principe complex is beautiful. The vegetation is lush, abundant, tropical, and well-groomed. The Luxury Ambar is a gorgeous hotel. It is a small hotel and very easy to walk around. However, if you plan on moving around the complex, you'll have to take the trains that drive between the resorts. Overall, we scored the Luxury Ambar 82 out of 110. No matter how good your resort is, we strongly recommend going out and experiencing a different side of Punta Cana. A safe way to do so is to go on a guided excursion, which you can book online by scanning the QR code on the screen or clicking the link in the description and pinned comment. We make a small commission on each sale at no extra cost to you. Number 7. Dreams Onyx we stayed at the Dreams Onyx in April 2022 and paid $174 per person per night. Hyatt now owns Dreams Hotels in Punta Cana, so it is now under new management. However, we've visited other Dreams Hotels managed by Hyatt and things have only improved. The Onyx was only the second all-inclusive resort we stayed in after launching this channel, but having visited 26 resorts since then, it holds its ground as a great resort. It is also located in Uvero Alto, so the beach is not its strong point. 
We loved the food at this resort with few exceptions. Service was top notch and the room was gorgeous. The on-site water park with the lazy river is a huge plus as is the fact that you can use the facilities of its conjoined adults-only resort, Breathless Punta Cana. Overall, we scored the Dreams Onyx 99 out of 110. Number 6. Hard Rock Punta Cana We visited Hard Rock Punta Cana in July 2023 and paid $250 per person per night. We like it so much that it is tied for first place in our overall Punta Cana resort rankings. It is a humongous resort, jam-packed with amenities and things to do. Its biggest downsides are its size, which makes it hard to move about, and how crowded it can get due to its large capacity. Other than that, almost everything else is positive. It has some of the best food we've tried in an all-inclusive, its beach is breathtaking, the pool variety is unmatched, it has one of the best hotel water parks, the rooms are beautiful, and its drink game is top-notch. It is a busy hotel with something to do at all times during the day or night. Overall, we scored the Hard Rock Punta Cana 109 out of 110. Number 5. Hyatt Zilara Capcana We stayed in Hyatt Zilara Capcana in March 2024 and paid $345 per person per night, the most out of any resort on this list. Due to its high price point, the Hyatt Zilara had an uphill battle to get a good score in the value for money category, but it delivered. The service at the Zilara is at another level, which adds to its luxury proposition. The adults-only Hyatt Zilara shares its grounds with the family-friendly Hyatt Ziva, if you stay in the Zilara, you can use all the amenities of the Ziva and vice versa. The hotel is gorgeous, with beautiful vegetation and impeccable gardens. Its modern architecture, design and decoration give all areas of the hotel a luxurious vibe. We loved the room from the moment we set foot in it, and it became John's favorite hotel room. The food, especially the varied and well-stocked buffet, did not disappoint. Overall, we scored the Hyatt Zilara Capcana 107 out of 110. Number 4. Rio Republica We visited the Rio Republica for the second time in August 2022 and paid $104 per person per night. It is one of the most famous party resorts in Punta Cana. There's always a party going on somewhere in the resort. The crowd skews younger, so the atmosphere is livelier than in most resorts in the area. The hotel also hosts four mega parties weekly off-site, the famous Ryu parties. We went to one of these parties and it was the most intense, fun and entertaining party we've experienced in any Punta Cana resort. Its strengths are the beach, one of the prettiest in Punta Cana, the food, which is very good for the price point, and the variety of pools with six different ones to choose from. Its weakest points are the drinks, which feel watered down, and the worn down rooms. Overall, we scored the Rio Republica 82 out of 110, but it's a bargain at this price point for an all-inclusive. Number 3. Grand Bavaro Princess we stayed at the Grand Bavaro Princess in June 2023 and paid just $94 per person per night, the lowest price we've found for a proper all-inclusive in Punta Cana. We were not expecting much for this low price, but it exceeded our expectations. We especially liked our room. We fell in love with it from the moment we entered. It was huge, with two distinct areas, the bedroom and living room. The bedroom was comfortable and chic, and the decoration was modern and clean. We liked the gorgeous and spacious beach, the variety of amenities such as tennis, basketball and archery, the fantastic coffee shop, and the gorgeous gardens filled with free-roaming exotic birds. We were not fans of the main pool, which was too loud and somewhat murky, but we loved the Indian restaurant Samsara. Overall, we scored the Grand Bavaro Princess 89 out of 110. Number 2. Lopezan Costa Bavaro 
We visited Lopez San for a second time in September 2022 and paid $150 per person per night. It is a well-rounded property with excellent service, good culinary offerings, fantastic pools, and a ton of amenities. Like Hard Rock, Lopez San is a huge resort. However, unlike Hard Rock, it does not have a train to move around the hotel, so it might not be suitable for people with physical limitations. The beach is one of the most famous and beautiful in Punta Cana, Bavaro Beach. The main pool at Lopez San is one of our favorite pools in all of Punta Cana, although it was a bit too noisy the last time we were there. We love Lopez San's architecture and design. It is one of the most beautiful resorts in the area. The room is also one of our favorites from all the resorts we've been to. Night entertainment is also a strong point of Lopez San. We scored the Lopez San Costa Bavaro 109 out of 110, tied with Hard Rock. Number 1. Rio Palace Macau It is one of the most recent resorts we visited. We were there in May 2024 and paid $117 per person per night. Rio Palace Macau is the most expensive Rio hotel in Punta Cana and was recently fully renovated at the end of 2023. We were not expecting it to be this good, and it is a bargain for the price we paid. Its strengths are the beach, the fact that it's renovated, the service, the buffet's food, and the day and night entertainment. It has access to shared amenities within the Rio complex like a water park and a nightclub, and the Rio party zone is within walking distance. The hotel areas are beautiful, especially the Cubano bar. The rooms are also pretty. The hotel has three pools, which is okay for a resort of this size. If the hotel maintains a similar price point and quality, we strongly recommend it. Overall, we scored the Rio Palace Macau 104 out of 110. Watch this video next to see our top 10 Punta Cana resort picks when all categories are considered.